about to put it on a platter, let that bad freaking splatter. About to bag it up like your Teresa. Stick it in the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen. oh it's about that time. We about to blow your mind. I put wedding soap in the building, baby. Watch us grind. We got no time for all these haters. You can watch us shine. Cause we uh, thank y'all for choosing On The Mic Live with Bustman 4.0. We do this every Friday from 7 to 9.30 p.m. We talk to a collective of artists, entrepreneurs, and small businesses. Talk to them about what it is they do and why they do it. With that being said, uh, we're going to play another track. And we got a special guest who will be coming up real soon. He goes by Paris Chandler. I know this brother is doing some very, very creative work. Um, what's the topic of discussion tonight? We're going to be talking about how to build a bus and turn it into a home. Make sure this is uh, episode uh, 32. So we've been going strong uh, since January 1st of 2021. Yeah, so we've been going strong for a good eight, almost nine months. So I appreciate everybody who's been tuning in and who's been rocking with me. Uh, make sure while y'all out here, man, stay safe. Mass up, you know what I'm saying, while you're going out and doing your thing, especially when y'all out in big events, big areas with a lot of people. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shut up. I got this track right here. It's called Take You to Outer Space. It's off my new uh, album that's going to be coming out. No Art Boy and Soul in full effect. We're about to blast off in five, four, three, two. Let's get it. Baby, hit it. Where you wanna go, wanna go, you can go to outer space, I'll take you to my show. To it my don't show. matter, matter of fact, let's go somewhere that you know. Oh, we gon' have a good time, I got money to blow. Money to blow. Baby, hit it. Where you wanna go, wanna go, you can go to outer space, I'll take you to my show. To it my don't show. matter, matter of fact, let's go somewhere that you know. Oh, we gon' have a good time, I got money to blow. Money to blow, baby. We bout to blast off. We bout to go to outer space and hit the mall. I hope you brought everything in major calls. Call your sister, call your mother. Hope you told them that you love them. Hope you love them. Dag, mama. You're looking like a snicker. Like a snicker. Chocolate tooty, fruity booty getting thicker. Getting thicker. You're about to make a brother wanna take a picture. Cause I'm about to eat the kitty cat. Oh, I'm just tripping. Drippin', sippin', yeah, you know I'm tippin'. I'm about to hit that Milky Way and beat it up and flip it. About to put it on a platter, let that batter freaking splatter. About to bag it up like groceries and stick it in the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen. What's up, what's up, brother? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Busman 4.0, and you are on the mic live. We do this every Friday from 7 to 9.30 p.m. We talk to a collective artists, entrepreneurs, and small businesses, talking to them about what it is they do and why they do it. With that being said, we have a special guest that's right here in the building uh, who goes by Paris Chandler. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this interview started. Um, with that being said, thank y'all for tuning in, whether you're tuning in now or you're going to tune in later on. Um, make sure y'all go to um, the On The Mic Live platform on IG to uh, follow this uh, interview. Also, you can go on to uh, YouTube. Um, how you doing, bro? Hey, man. It's, it's uh, lovely to be here. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I cannot complain. I can't complain, bro, at all. Um, just chilling, man, and just trying to stay as focused as I can while I'm being creative. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. So basically, let us know which, who you're at, what's your, what's your name, where you're from, and what do you do? So, my name is Paris, uh, but on Instagram, I go by Beard of Utrecht. It's kind of a play off of one of my favorite shows, The Last Kingdom, with uh, okay. Utrecht's son of Utrecht. And I've been, okay, okay. I've been growing my beard out a lot, so I, I decided, like, what's something unique that I can brand myself with? And it's a mm -hmm. uh, beer So that's what I go by here. I also have another IG uh, channel house too. And that's the Instagram specifically for, as you can see, my bus. There so, you go. Uh, I'm originally from Chicago. Uh, I've moved around quite a lot. I've lived in Illinois. I've lived in Georgia. I've lived in Maryland. And now I'm here in uh, a mystery location. People don't know yet because I got videos that say, that show the journey. So I'm, I'm working on editing them, and boy, it's editing uh, a trip. And basically what I'm doing is I'm converting the school bus into a tiny house. Okay, okay. And I'm documenting the process 
and the journey and all the things that it takes to actually build a bus. So it's a, uh, it's an interesting journey and I'm uh, looking forward to whatever questions you got for me so I can help and inspire anybody else who might be looking to do the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, for those who just tuned in, thank y'all for tuning in. I see, uh, uh, Ken, I am appreciate you for t uh, locking in and joining us on the live and so forth. Um, with that being said, uh, so, uh, Paris, man, I, I do, I do want to, uh, before we go into, um, topic of discussion, let's talk about your two, uh, IG pages. So your first one, the one we on now, what is the name of that one? This one is a uh, beard of Utrid. It's spelled beard underscore of underscore U H T R E D. Okay. So, th so this one is more of like a lifestyle channel. So, and my Chandler house, uh, Instagram is more dedicated to what's going on with the bus specifically. It's like the buses Instagram. Right. Understand. And that's, and that's dope. I actually, um, I, I went on there, man. And, um, um, I went, actually went on there a few months ago when, uh, uh, AP the diva, um, uh, introduced me to you, uh, for the first time. Cause I know we supposed to do, uh, interview, uh, maybe about a month and a half, two months ago. And, yeah. um, uh, due to scheduling and traveling and so forth, um, right. we, we went ahead and rescheduled. So really glad to uh, finally get you on, man. Um, Especially, you know, not only because my name is Busman 4.0, but just because, you know, I thought this would be a really, really dope and cool and interesting conversation um, outside of the um, outside of what you're doing with building. But just the process, just the idea of um, of looking at um, your dream home or looking at your idea of where you want to be um, in a different perspective. And um, I believe like this is a really, really uh, dope concept that a lot of people should know about at least and be informed about if they decided to do that in the future or if they just decided to uh, just look out for other people who might be doing it, um, such as yourself. Um, so um, before I before I do that, man, I did I did want to show you a little something real quick. You know what I'm saying? I want to show you my my little my little arsenal. You know what I'm saying? I got over here. Um, okay. Let's see what you got, bro. So this is my. This is my first arsenal right here, you know what I'm saying? This is my... <laughs> I took this, a picture with a bus that looked just like nah. that. You know what I'm saying? That's this is the old, the old school original bus right here, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's the so old got, school one. Yeah, the original function, you know what I'm saying? But the, my stop sign don't open up on here. And my back door don't open up on here. See, my wheels, I don't know if you can see it. I open up on my bus. <laughs> yeah, my, wheel, my wheels is off right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no rubber on these joints right now, so I'm in a process like you building the bus you know um i tell you one thing the tires busting on my bus would be a nightmare oh uh, look i can i can i can believe it are not cheap i think if i remember the last time i went to go get an oil change by the way an oil change and like getting the, the regular checkup was about five hundred dollars so you definitely spend money. and i believe the, the size wheels for this bus was like 465 each or something like that it was crazy stop they, playing they really, they're really expensive. So those are certain things you want to take care of while you have them until you can afford to get more. That's just right. a little tip. So and that's, and that's, bus, there's no oil changes unless you learn how to do it yourself, which is what I'm going to do. Yeah, oil, oil change and all those fluid checks are going to cost you around 560 That's what it cost me at least. Okay. Okay. So about 560 So if, if you are in the business of building your own home out of a – um a motor vehicle in this uh particular conversation we're talking about the bus crazy in love uh x6 i appreciate you for tuning in uh she's been rocking with me uh for um the past I think couple couple maybe about two or three weeks uh for uh, the last few interviews i've done and so forth so she followed me and she been she been keeping up with what i'm doing so i appreciate you crazy for tapping in for a second um i do want to see what she wrote uh she wrote uh just wanted to say hi I will catch this later. Hey, I appreciate you, uh, crazy, for tuning in. Make sure you share, share, and uh, like this video, and uh, share with your peoples because uh, this is definitely going to be a cool episode, um, and it's going to be informative cool. as well. So, only a few of my close friends know where I actually am, so that'll be part of like what's going on with my journey and where I'm at and everything. Like right. That. And that's and, that, and that's and that's clues in my videos. My videos give a little bit of clues as to where I might be, but not many trying to right. keep a surprise for everybody and that's and that's and that's how that's how that's how it should be to some extent you know because as you as you're moving forward and you're doing it you know at the end of the day 
this is also a, a, a motor vehicle, so we don't know where you might pop out at. You know what I'm saying? As you move, as you're doing what you're doing, anyways. So, oh, look, ne that. next week you might be done with the bus. You might be in California somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So, let's let's yeah, if, if, if Will Jean, if Will Smith popped out of a genie bottle, yeah, I'll be done with this bus next week, <laughs> next month. They, they, there you go, there you go. Hey, look, I, I was just I was just watching. Uh, she said definitely since I know people who stay in RVs. Um, I got y'all guys. I appreciate nice. that. So, um, I was just watching a, um, I was just watching a, um, a TikTok, um, mm -hmm. with a guy who is a painter and he was painting, uh, some pictures of like, the journey of Will Smith almost. Like if you can back from like when he first started up until now mm -hmm. and all right. the accomplishments he did, it was like almost like, it was like a tribute mural oh, nice. of, um, all the different movies tv shows that he's been involved in and every character that he's played is on the mural oh wow he kept posting will smith for a period of time and uh for probably a long period of time at least or, or some time he kept tagging him and eventually will smith followed him you know they found he found his work so his work so i'm assuming that this guy right now is uh doing exactly what he wants to do i, I you know will smith been saying he want this this mural for the longest, keep telling, keep telling. So I'm assuming that probably Will already connected with him, and um, he's on his way to doing what he's supposed to be doing with his artistic talent. So that's a dope thing. But I was just saying, you know, making a joke, you know, what you just said, you know, Will Smith see it, hey man, tag that motherfucker, tag him, you know, keep tag, keep tagging him. Let him know. If Will, will want to donate to the project, cash out right. Channel House too. I'm telling you, it'll definitely help a brother out. <laughs> there, you, there you go, there you go. All right, so um, let's go into our second question. Um, I do want to know, what is the inspiration for, one, building a bus into a home? What was your logic? What was your inspiration? And what made you decide to take on this task? Because I know it's not an easy task. Not at all. So I'm going to give you a kind of a footnotes history. Um, I lived in Atlanta 20, uh, probably up until like 2017, from about 2013 to 2017. Mm -hmm. And right before I left, I got engaged and I moved to Baltimore. That didn't end up working out. So we okay. moved out of our place. You know, I had to find a new place to live. Uh, I kind of had to restart my life over. You know, I had to rebuild the blocks. I found a better job. I started going back to school and everything kind of started going cool. Right. Right until the pandemic hit. That's This was like right before it hit. And then once it okay. hit, I was one of those people who had ended up losing a job, you know, stuck in the house, you know, fall into a hole of depression. And I would just have conversations with my friends. Like, and it's just, you know, just part of conversation. I'm like, whatever. And so one day while I'm going down a hole of, of watching YouTube videos, I stumbled into tiny homes and eventually something called schoolies. And that's okay. what they call school buses that they convert into tiny houses. They call them schoolies. And initially, schoolies. I thought, yeah, S-K-O-O-L-I-E. That's how you spell it. Okay, okay. And so I was like, oh, that's an interesting idea, whatever. But you know YouTube, once you watch a video, they start right. suggesting videos similar right. to that. Right. So for the next few months, I'm watching all these videos about, you know, people or families building buses. And it made me think back to when I was maybe... 22 23 um okay. i love traveling um when i was 22 that was my first time traveling out of the country i went to austria to go okay. visit some friends who we ended up meeting because we moved into the same apartment and so we became friends they were exchange students and so when they went back i was like yo i'm come visit y'all and that was my first really foray traveling outside the country and i did it a multiple times since then and so i always thought to myself you know i want to find a job or an occupation that'll allow me to travel because I love traveling so much. And you know, as you get older, your priorities change, things change, you kind of, mm -hmm. as you go along. So now I'm sitting in the middle of pandemic, no job, you know, the the system for the unemployment was flooded, so I wasn't getting right. any compensation. And I started, and looking at these schools and stuff, it started making me think back to that. It's like, man, this is actually kind of a cool idea. You know, you can make your own house, you can be anywhere, and you're not necessarily stuck to one place. I understand. And, you know, I was like, man, I always wanted to find a way to sustain myself while being able to travel. Is this it? Are you tired of all these radio stations playing the same old motherfucking bullshit?